What's going on? Welcome back to the Beginner Gunner. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Charter Arms Sheet Lady. Um, usually, when I buy a product, I do quite a bit of reviews on it before I decide to purchase it. And this stems from what restaurant I'm going to eat at to what type of car I'm going to buy next. But under the circumstances, I couldn't do too much research on this particular revolver. The revolver I had in mind to purchase was a Taurus LCR. But like I said in my first video, I was pressed for time to, to buy a firearm. So I ended up buying the Charter Arms. So a little bit of history about the Charter Arms. Charter Arms was established in 1964 by an ex-employee of um, Ruger, Colt, and one other company. Um, he set out to make one of the lightest revolvers. The first revolver he made was called the Undercover. Um, that was the um, at that time the lightest, smallest revolver available. Um, I believe Charter Arms gets somewhat of a bad rap because it was used in a couple of high profile um, murders and also serial killers. Um, the person who killed John Lennon used a 30, uh, uh, it wasn't 38, but he used the Charter Arms weapon and also the son of Sam used Charter Arms. So they, they, they have that small stigma of um, serial killers, killers using their particular weapon. And I, I know people tend to um, st steer away from products when they um, get bad raps. So I believe that was one reason why Charter Arms maybe was never a force to be reckoned with with other gun manufacturers. Um, so I did a little bit more digging about Charter Arms. They have gone bankrupt three times to my reading two for sure um the third bankruptcy i think it was just a change of ownership um so hopefully they continue to make um revolvers so if i have any issues or i couldn't get parts or my warranty would be um, valid throughout the time of my ownership um i was thinking about passing this down to my my daughter she just received her license so we'll see about that but so far I'm happy with with the with the firearm I um, still would like to do a full arm review of the gun and a comparison to other um, revolvers that I was looking at so stay tuned for that this was just a quick video on the history of the charter arms and there's really no well, there is a particular reason I chose this. It was because of the pandemic and it was the only revolver left that had a hammer. So this is a double action, single action. So um, that is the reason I chose this gun. There was no rhyme to it. The reason was the pandemic. So once again, stay tuned and I will update you guys and give you a, a small review on the gun. It, it's not going to be a comparison to any other um, revolver at this time um, until I can make it to the to the range with my buddy so I can shoot his Ruger 38 special revolver and I can give you a comparison so in the next video I'll give you the specs on this particular revolver and tell you exactly um, what I think of it thanks for watching continue to be a gunner and I'll see you guys next time this is the beginner gunner thanks for watching subscribe like and I'll talk to you guys later.